In this video for positive maths, we're going to look at a higher level leave insert question involving geometry. So this question is from the 2012 paper 2 and it's question 1. So given the coordinates of the vertices of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, describe three different ways to determine using coordinate geometry techniques where the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So we'll just draw a quick sketch of our parallelogram. Okay, so we have to use coordinate geometry techniques to explain why this four-sided shape is a parallelogram. The first thing that we can do is check that the opposite slopes of both of the pairs of sides are the same. Okay, so I'm just going to label them. The slope of AB I'm going to put as M1. The slope of BC, M2, the slope of CD, M3, and the slope of AD, M4. So what we want to do is show that slope M1 is equal to M3, and that M2 is equal to M4. So let's just think about how we're going to phrase this. So method 1. Check that the slopes of both pairs of opposite sides are the same. Okay, so let's think of another method. The next thing that we can do is show that both pairs of sides are equal in length. So we want to show that the length of AB is equal to the length of DC and show that the length BC is equal to AD. So again, let's think about how we will phrase this. Method 2 we want to check that both pairs of sides are equal in length. The next method then involves the diagonals. So we're just going to draw them in. We have AC and BD. So what we want to show is that the midpoint of the diagonal AC and the midpoint of BD are the same point. So really we want to show that the diagonals bisect each other. So what we're going to do is find the midpoint of BD Of that line segment, we want to show that it's equal to the midpoint AC. So we want to check that the midpoints of the diagonals coincide or are equal. Okay, so really we're checking that the diagonals bisect each other. Okay, so that's three different ways. There's more than one method, but that's three methods. There are a few more to show that the quadrilateral four-sided shape is actually a parallelogram. So check that the slopes of both sides are the same, check that the length of opposite sides are the same, and check that the midpoints of the diagonals are the same. Okay, part B. They say using one of the methods we described, 
determine whether the quadrilateral with the vertices minus 4 minus 2, 21 minus 5, 8, 7, and minus 17, 10 is a parallelogram. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do again is to just draw a rough sketch. So we're not asked to plot it on a graph or anything, but we should be able to notice really that the point minus 4 minus 2 is going to be on the bottom left corner. Then we will have 21 minus 5, 8, 7, and minus 17 and 10. So I'm going to label these A, B, C, and D. Okay, so what we want to do really is find the midpoint of BD and that show that it's equal to the midpoint of AC. So I'm also going to write down now my midpoint formula. So we have the sum of the x values over 2, comma, the sum of the y values over 2. Okay, now let's work with BD first of all. So I'm going to label my x value and my y values. Okay, and now I fill in. So the midpoint of BD is going to be 21 minus 17 over 2 and minus 5 plus 10 over 2. So 21 minus 17 gives me 4, that's over 2, minus 5 plus 10, 5 over 2. So when I simplify, my midpoint is going to be 2, 5 over 2. So now we'll find the midpoint of AC. So we're labeling our points x1, y1, and x2, y2. Okay, so to fill in, we're going to have minus 4 plus 8 over 2. And we have minus 2 plus 7 over 2. So when we simplify again, we're going to get 4 over 2 and 5 over 2. So again, our x value is 2 and our y value is 5 over 2. So we have shown that the midpoint of BD is equal to the midpoint of AC. So therefore, the diagonals do bisect each other. So therefore, the parallelogram with the given vertices, or the quadrilateral with the given vertices, is a parallelogram. For more information, visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info at positivemaths.ie and find